This is how I made Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a prop that I'm going to keep outside for several weeks, um, at least enough to annoy the neighbors, so I'm definitely going to try to make this as waterproof as possible. I need to make a basic skeleton of the body and then I'm going to drape some fabric over top of it. So I need to make a spine. Um, this was a packing tube that I just cut in half. Actually, my kid plays matchbox cards with it and he's napping. He doesn't know I cut it up yet, so... Mom of the year! So I'm just going to make some uh, slices and try to bend it and tape it a little and give that wiggly body that Zero has. All right, so this is a finished spine. I can always go ahead and cut it shorter later since I'm not really sure of his proportions yet. Um, this being his neck, I'm gonna go ahead and mock up an armature of his head. Uh, then I'm gonna paper mache and paper clay over top of that. To get his basic head, I'm just gonna use a bunch of um, recycled materials. Wad up some paper, tape it in a ball. Use the other half of the uh, packing tube, of course, cut it short for his mouth because it's almost like a duck bill. Then I'm going to use uh, some tin foil to make the basic shapes and then cover it from there. Okay, so I've balled up a bunch of newspaper, basically raided my recycling bin for any kind of materials that I could use just to build up a base. Um, spoons for the eyes, plastic spoons, gold spoons, apparently they're super special. So, uh, just some plastic, because this one was a little short, that was from like a, an orange juice container. I'm going to continue building up the face a little bit. I want a little more depth with some foil and then when I'm all done with it I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in tape to make it easier to go ahead and put paper mache on it. When you're doing something that's symmetrical um, you want to do the foil both pieces at the same time so they're roughly the same same size. All right, so here we have um, finished armature. I went ahead and just taped everything. I'm a firm believer in if you make a really strong armature, then then you won't have to do very much paper mache. Um, so here it is. I went over it and taped just every aspect that I could. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and just paper mache and let it dry, cover it with some clay. Okay, so I only did two layers, um, let them dry, and it's pretty stout. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach a spine, which is super long, so I'll end up just trimming that later. But I'm afraid that this is going to be a little too top-heavy and it might snap off. So I found a wire coat hanger, just folded it three times to make it a bit more stout. I'm going to jam this inside of his neck, get it pretty far up in his head, and then tape it and glue it on the bottom here just to, just to give it a little more uh, sturdiness there. Okay. Now I'm just going to glue this a whole bunch and glue it on the uh, base of the neck. Alright, we're all glued in. Uh, the coat hanger reinforced his head and his, his spine and it's all pretty stout. Now we're going to work on his ears. For his ears, I was lucky enough to have some scraps of some foam insulation board. It comes in a 4x8 sheet, um, and there's a pink brand and a blue brand uh, that you maybe can find at some home improvement stores. In Southern California, this stuff is impossible to find. I actually found mine at a Habitat for Humanity store where somebody had donated it, so I got really, really lucky. Um, if you're not able to find this stuff, now just use the same method we used for his head. Take some cardboard, bend it up, re, um, uh, use some tin foil to um, build the curves, tape it up a bunch and paper mache it. This way, I took some bamboo skewers, just some shish kebab skewers, poked them inside of the ear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just insert them in the head here. It's okay if you make the holes kind of big because you're going to cover them with clay. There we go. All right. Now I'm just going to hot glue the skewers in place. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap that I'm going to stick clay inside there and kind of form it onto the head a little bit so it looks more uniform as one piece instead of just two pieces stuck on there. Um, do the same thing if you're doing the cardboard ears. After you've paper mache them, go ahead and stick them in with skewers. Then I'm going to cover everything with paper clay. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I do have another video that goes over making the clay as well as how to, how to put it on. Um, I'm not going to go over the foam just because these are already pretty stout. But if you've used the cardboard mache version, definitely go over it with the clay. Um, and then just stop right at the neck. No need to go over any of this. We'll coat this with some paint and waterproof it later. 